nonprofit sector, the more value you produce, the more money you can make. But we don't like nonprofits to use money to incentivize people to produce more in social service. We have a visceral reaction to the idea that anyone would make very much money helping other people. Interesting that we don't have a visceral reaction to the notion that people would make a lot of money not helping other people. You know, you want to make $50 million selling violent video games to kids, go for it. We'll put you on the cover of Wired magazine, but you want to make half a million dollars trying to cure kids of malaria, and you're considered a parasite yourself. And we think of this as our system of ethics, but what we don't realize is that this system has a powerful side effect, which is it gives a really stark, mutually exclusive choice between doing very well for yourself and your family or doing good for the world to the brightest minds coming out of our best universities and sends tens of thousands of people who could make a huge difference in the nonprofit sector marching every year directly into the for-profit sector because they're not willing to make that kind of lifelong economic sacrifice. Business Week did a survey, looked at the compensation packages for MBAs 10 years out of business school. And the median compensation for a Stanford MBA with bonus at the age of 38 was $400,000. Meanwhile, for the same year, the average salary for the CEO of a $5 million plus medical charity in the U.S. was $232,000 and for a hunger charity, $84,000. Now, there's no way you're going to get a lot of people with $400,000 talent to make a $316,000 sacrifice every year to become the CEO of a hunger charity. Some people say, well, that's just because those MBA types are greedy. Not necessarily. They might be smart. It's cheaper for that person to donate $100,000 every year to the hunger charity, save $50,000 on their taxes, so still be roughly $270,000 a year ahead of the game, now be called a philanthropist because they donated $100,000 to charity, probably sit on the board of the hunger charity, indeed probably supervise the poor SOB who decided to become the CEO of the hunger charity, and have a lifetime of this kind of power and influence and popular praise still ahead of them. 